Hello guys, this is the last problem of homework 5, the last portion of the stress strain diagram for an aluminum alloy. It's shown in the figure. The specimen from which it was obtained has an original diameter of 12.7 millimeters and a gauge length of 50.1 millimeters. When it applied load on the specimen, if is 55 kilonewtons, the diameter is 12.67494 millimeters. Determine the poison ratio for the material. So first, we're gonna find our strain. That is the change in diameter over the original diameter. So my strain equals 12.67 four nine four minus twelve point seven over the original length twelve point seven. So my strain equals minus zero point zero 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 point zero zero one nine seven three millimeters over millimeters. Now my second step is find the axial strain but to find the axial strain i have to use this diagram but first i have to discover my normal stress we know that our normal stress is the load applied over the area so my stress equal 55,000 newtons over my area that's p over 4 times 12.7 times 10 to the minus 3 square. So I discover my uh, stress is 434.18 mega pascals. So we have our strain. Now we're going to do the analysis in the graph. Here we have 434.18 megapascals. So using the graph, you can find my new axial uh, strain. So I have my curve. I know my big triangle is 0 0.007 for a load of 400 megapascals. And then I'll discover my new one. Here is my axial load, and here is the stress that I found of 434.18 megapascals. So using similar triangle, I have 0 0.007 over 490 is the same as my axial my axial strength over 434.18. So I have my axial strain equals 0 0.007 times 434.18 over 490. So I have an axial strain equals 0 0.00620 millimeters over millimeters. Finally, we know that the Poisson ratio is minus our strain over axial strain. So our Poisson rate will be minus parenthesis minus 0 0.01973 that we discovered in the first slide over my axial strain that you, we just discovered here. So my Poisson ratio is equal 0 0.318 so this is our Poisson's ratio doesn't have units so this was the last problem of homework 5